Okay, so the first thing you got to do is uh, take these two screws off. There's one on either side. And this one, you can use a flat or a Phillips head, depending on your meter. Then you just, the whole top lifts off. Like so. Okay, next, you want to take that knob off. Mm -hmm. And just tilt your ring back. It comes off. There you go. Okay, next we're going to take off these wing nuts. There's uh, one, two, three, four. four of them. Looks like they're pretty easy to get to. Okay, if your wing nuts are real tight, you can take a screwdriver, just turn them a little bit, like that, get them started. Okay, we're going to do a little cleaning around here, just so we don't get any of the dirt inside the heater. Okay, I'm going to put a little mark here where the control knob was. So when we reinstall it, we get it oriented in the right way. Okay, next we're going to put that knob back on there for a second. Time for a hot nail. And I'm going to raise the wick up. Okay. And I'll try lifting that off of there. So what can we get a little pan to put that in? Okay, as long as you got that wick assembly out of there, you can take a look in your tank. Just make sure it's not dirty. You can it's a good time to flush it out if you need to. Okay. You wanna turn your wick assembly over and see there's sometimes this gas will stick onto that. And you can put that gasket back on there. Okay, now depending on your heater, uh, you can push this wick in and then take this little cover off. It's got the little teeth on it right here, see? That's what grips the wick. Right there. Okay. Okay. Now she push the wick down in there, and she's trying to get them them little pins. This one has pins on it. There's one. There's one right there. Okay. And just kind of work There's your up. way around. There's little hook. There's little metal hooks in there too that hold the wick. There's another pin. Kind of Work your way out. Oh, here's another one. Okay. Work it out of there. Very simple. Just fold it up, pull the wick out. Mm -hmm. And those pins will locate the wick at the right height. Okay, here's a shot of the, the new and the old wick. You can see this one has burned down quite a bit. So, I'm going to replace it. It's still working, but <clears throat> it's burned down quite a bit. Okay, there's a little sleeve in here. The wick sits in. It's got teeth on it and has the holes in it. That shows up. You can take that out, and that's what holds the wick. It's got the little teeth on it, see? Okay. She's just lining those pins up, the holes. There's three of them. Yeah. 
They snap in there, don't they? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it needs to slide back in here and see it's slotted right there. Okay, that's the hardest part when we get that wick in the holder and then you just kind of have to push the pins in a little bit, finagle them into them slots. Just a little, you have to push them a little bit and wiggle them around until you get them all lined up in them holes. Okay, <clears throat> the wick is all installed in that sleeve. Now we're going to put this cover on there. Don't forget your cover. Just snaps in there. Friction fit. And next we're going to slide the whole assembly back on there. Okay, we're getting ready to put it back together. I want to make sure you put your knob on and raise your wick all the way up. And then we're going to slide it on there. Okay. Ready? Okay, well, you know, I need two people for this. Okay. So you really need two people. One to pull down on the wick so it doesn't bunch up. And slide it down. We had a problem with it punching up. We had to pull it apart again. Oops. Okay. And once you get it down, just test it and make sure the wick goes up and down good. Hold it up. Turn the knob up and up. Okay. It seems to be working pretty freely that first time we got it on there it punched up. But make it. Okay, then we're just gonna put our wing nuts on. Okay. Now we're gonna put that ring back on there. I'm just gonna pull that knob off. Okay, next we're going to put the top back on. Just make sure to line up your door with the control side. And let's put two screws back in on the side. And that's it. Okay, we're going to fire it up. There we go. We're going to pull on this. It's a safety thing on there. There we go. It's, it's lighting good, yeah. You know. it, it's lighting a whole lot easier than uh, with the old wick. Flame in there. It's a lot higher than it used to be. Yeah. Did real good. And we let the let it soak a little bit. Yeah, you can uh, stubble your flame in good with by wiggling this. There's a little coil of wire on there. You can wiggle your burner a little bit. It settles the flame, evens it out. There you go. Enjoy your heat.